Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on page 229. Okay, so find 229 in your math book. It's lesson 4.4. Once you find it, hit play. All right, first graders. Today we're going to be talking about how we can use a 10 frame or make a 10 to help us subtract. Um, so we're going to be making some circles. Um, let me just take a peek. Yep, yeah, you'll be fine with just your pencil today. All right, so I'm going to read a problem to you and then I'm going to model it for you up here. Read, uh, Austin puts nine red counters into the, into the first 10 frame. Then he puts one yellow counter into the 10 frame. How many more yellow counters does Austin need to make 15? Okay, so let me get my colored pencils out to help us out. All right, so it says he puts nine red counters into the first 10 frames. So here's my nine red counters. Okay, um, boys and girls, you can just watch this. You don't actually need to do this, okay? You can just watch. Then he puts one yellow counter in, in the 10 frame. Hmm. So where do you think I should put this yellow one? Do you think I should put this, start it down here? Or do you think I should start it up here? Up here, right? So what we will always wanna do is we wanna try to fill our 10 frame. And we looked at that in the last chapter when we talked about making a 10. So we always wanna try to fill in our, in our 10 frame before we go on to the next row. So it says he puts one yellow counter in the 10 frame. So there's my one yellow. All right, how many more yellow counters does Austin need to make 15? So let's think about what we know. If this is a 10 frame, all right, listen to that word, 10 frame, how many counters would be in here? 10, we don't need to recount them. We know if this whole thing is full, there's 10 because it's a 10 frame, which means there's 10 boxes. So this is 10, all we need to do is count on. So some of you might know 10 plus what equals 15? And some of you might not and need to count on. So let's, let's I'll model counting on. So here's 10, one more makes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if I'm not very good at counting on, I can also just go back and count all of my circles just to be sure. All right, so how many more counters did I need to make to get to 15? Well, I had 10, so how many more did I make down here? One, two, three, four, five. Five. I made five more. So they want us to see how this can represent subtracting. So if I had the problem 15 minus 9, and again, boys and girls, you can just watch this for right now. If I had 15 minus 9, what they want us to see is, look, here's my 9. Because remember, just like the other day where we used our cubes, right, our parts, Here's nine of them, right? But I can see how many more do I need to get to 15? Well, I can count on. Here's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I have 15 total. Here's nine. How many yellow did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so 15 minus nine equals six. I can even show that by going like this if I wanted to. I can take these nine red away, can I? Right? And it equals six. All right, so we're going to do more of that today. All you need is your pencil because um, it's easier so that way if we make a mistake, we can erase instead of using our color pencils. All right. It says you can make a 10 to help you to help you to subtract. Uh, you can make a 10 to help you subtract. So here's 13 minus 9. Okay. So 
Here's the nine counters that are in our 10 frame, okay? Then we continue on, because remember, we have to have our starting number 13. Remember, that's our biggest number, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more makes 10, 11, 12, 13. So now we have 13 all together, right? How many more did we make? Well, we made one, two, three, four. We counted four more. We made four more. So 13 minus nine equals four, right? And I can also show you this by, just like, remember when we made our other pictures before, we'd make 13 circles and we'd cross off nine? It's kind of the same thing. I'm gonna cross off these nine red ones since it's all the same color. And do you see how we're left with four? Okay, it's the same thing like we did before where we draw a picture. We start off with our big number, right? And we take away. So this is just finishing our picture pretty much. We have nine and we have to keep going until we get to 13, okay? So look at this one, 17 minus eight, okay? We start, start at eight. So look, there's eight in our 10 frame, eight red ones. But we don't just need eight. How many do we need to start with? Think about what we know about subtraction. We start with that big number. We have to get to 17. So we need to finish making our picture. We have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So now we have 17. See there's 17 circles, right? So if eight of them are red, Right, here's our eight, eight are red. How many are yellow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are yellow. So, 17 minus eight equals nine. It's just like what we did with our cubes, right? This is five. If I take two away, I have three left, right? It's just part, part total. This is, this equals two, this is three. Together it's five. Well, it's the same thing. Red and yellow, this is eight. These are nine and together it's 17, okay? So what we need to think about as we go through is we need to finish our pictures. We need to make our picture match the starting number. So we have to keep adding more circles and we always fill in our 10 frame first. Now, some of you might be realizing, hey, when we fill in our 10 frame, right? That's 10 and then we can just keep counting on, right? 10 plus seven more is 17, right? Here's our 10 and our seven. Same thing with 13. Here's our 10 frame, right? 10, we fill that first, and then we just need three more to get to 13. All right, so we're gonna take a look at some of these problems next. All right, so let's take a look at this one. 12 minus eight equals question mark. So look what they've done so far. We need to get to our starting number 12, right? Because there's 12 all together. So just like we normally would do where we draw circles to get to 12, okay? They started the they started it, but they didn't finish it. They have eight in here, right? They started with eight red. So now we have to keep going until we get to 12. So we have eight, nine, 10, make circles along with me, okay? We have nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now we have 12 circles. And if you're not sure, you can go back and recount them all to make sure it's 12. But if you look, this is 10, 11, 12. Okay, so 12 minus 8. Well, if we were to take all these eight red ones away, how many circles did we make? So let's look. One, two, three, Four. We made four more circles. So 12 minus eight is four. And I'm going to show you that. Look, if I cross these eight off, 
Do I still have four left? I do. Okay, so it's kind of like that part, part total. Here's our eight and then four and all together, it equals 12. All right, so I'm gonna have you try this one. 11 minus nine. So look at what we have here. They made the nine red circles. I want you to continue on till you get to that number 11. Okay, so count on as you make your circles. All right, if you're watching now, that means that you finished making your circles. You have your answer down. Okay, you solved 11 minus nine. Let me scoot this a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so let's see. You're checking your work. We had nine circles that made 10, 11. All right, so if we have nine, how many more did we make to get to 11? We made two more. Very good, so if you wanna just see, just like how we normally do when we cross off, watch what happens when I cross off the nine. Two left, isn't there? Yeah, so 11 minus nine equals two. Nine is one part, two is the other, and all together it equals 11. All right, let's look at this side. 14 minus nine. Okay, so we have four, we need to get to 14. That's our starting number. They gave us nine circles, so we're gonna count on till we get to 14. So there's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If you're not sure, you can always go back and count all of these to make sure you have 14. That's our starting number, just like we normally would do when we make a picture. All right, so here's nine. How many more circles did we make? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. We made five more circles. All right, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna, by crossing off, just so you can see that if we had 14, we cross nine off, it would still equal five. So here's 14 circles, right? And make sure I have the right starting number. Minus nine, so if I wanna cross off these nine red ones, I could. And do you see how I have five left? I do. All right, you're going to try 11 minus eight. So remember, you need to get to your starting number 11. They gave us eight circles. You're gonna count on making circles till you get to 11. Then see how many circles did you make? Hit play when you're done. Pause, hit play when you're done. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you are ready to check your work. If not, make sure you pause and finish. All right, we needed to get to 11. Here's eight. If I add another one, nine, 10, 11. All right, I have 11 circles now, 10, 11. Okay, how many circles did I have to make? Let's look, one, two, three. So 11 minus eight equals three. Okay, and I can show you that too. If I crossed eight off, I have three of my three left. All right. We are gonna stop there because we'll work on the problem solving tomorrow. Right now, you are going to do some extra practice on, on a slide activity.